Hi, my name is Gavin Bleitra. I'm a technical specialist and STEM consultant here at Robotis. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the packet function in Dynamixel Wizard right here. To do that, I'm using an XM540 W150R, a U2D2 in connection with a U2T2 power hub board, and an SMPS power supply. All right. So before I get too far into it, I'm going to explain what the packet function is in Dynamics Wizard. It's basically uh, showing you the raw data communication that's happening between the Dynamixel and whatever is controlling it. In this case, your computer via the U2D2 interface. Um, so you can learn a lot more about the packet function on our e-manual page. Uh, you can learn about how the firmware addresses of the um, Dynamixel itself and the actual like control style of the protocol from our e-manual. So let me just open up both of those. So there we are. I'll start with the uh, protocol. There's two portions to the protocol. There's an instruction packet and a status packet. How pro the protocol works is it's a half duplex uh, communication, which means that it sends and then receives data through an RX and TX line, a transmission and re or a reception line. Um, so in the instruction packet, it's formatted a very specific way to communicate to the Dynamixel that this is an instruction and you should be doing this with it. You can see that right here. And then it tells you the values for specific instructions that you can, you can send it. In the status packet, it will tell you like an error or its position, things like uh, of that nature. And then down here, here are some examples of how to structure a, um, a communication so that it per performs a specific action. Um, you don't have to use the Dynamixel Wizard to do this. You can use other control methods. This is just like how the, uh, the Dynamixel understands commands. So moving over to the Dynamixel's page, most of what you're going to be controlling in this is the control table either the EEPROM or the RAM, most likely the RAM. Um, you're going to be able to enable the torque, disable the torque, set a goal position, and, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Dynamixel Wizard, and I'm going to perform a shortcut really quick. I need to turn this on first, and then I'm going to scan for my Dynamixel. should be 57600. There it is. So here it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that it's set to position because I'm going to be using a write uh, command for position. So, and then I'm going to enable the torque. And then I'm going to disconnect. So torque is still enabled on this, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go into my packet. I'm going to switch to a write. And then in here, I'm going to look. You can find this either here or in the e-manual. Um, if you, you're using a different kind of controller to uh, control the Dynamixel, but because I'm in here already, I'm going to use this. Here's goal position. The address is 116. 116. And I know that that has a bit length of 4. I did know that from the e-manual. And then data is whatever you're trying to write it to go to. So if we look currently, Current position of the Dynamixel is 52.84 degrees. That doesn't help me a whole lot in figuring out the actual position. I'm going to go ahead and write 50 into here and see what it does. Um, it might move a lot, it might not move very much. I'm just not sure. And then I'm going to open the communication between the two. So, communication is now open. I'm going to move this to the bottom left and send the command. And yeah, you just saw it move. And from here, move that up again. From here, you can see um, the, stat the packages. So here is what the header looks like on the status package. You can see that there were no errors. If there was an error, you could refer to the e-manual and figure out what exactly was going wrong. And then here's the write command, and you can see the the specific parameters that are moving it and things of that nature. And uh, that, that's all there is to it. It's a useful tool for de debugging. It's also a useful tool for learning how to uh, program your Dynamixel 
uh, using other things rather than the Dynamixel wizard or you know your ba very generic commands. But this has been a basic overview of using the packet function in Dynamixel wizard 2.0 what the pa what pa size packets are and what communication packets are and you know a uh, kind of a brief view overview of what protocols are um, I if you have any other videos that you'd like to see um, or any suggestions or uh, questions go ahead and write them in the comments down below uh, please subscribe like and subscribe and I hope you guys have a fantastic day